Hey, Brian from Garage Wall. Today I have a stainless steel cat litter box. Uh, let's open up. I'll show you what it looks like. So it's packed really well. Taped up pretty good. Box was a little bit bigger than I ex expected, but. So this is the top hood part. Scooper, some other little accessories in there. Okay, so we got that box out of the way. Sorry for the plastic noise. that piece out of the way. So that is your stainless steel pan. So it's great. Very large. And then that is the top part that goes on there. So it's got a nice high wall so I'll keep them when they're scratching to keep them from the litter going all over the place. And it has this little piece here so as they're going across I get the top view. So it'll help get some of the litter off their paws as they're climbing out. So that is your little uh, scooper. And it has some extra feet that comes with it, so it's always helpful. And I mean, instructions, pretty straightforward. I mean, that's it. So those are your instructions. Very easy to follow, easy to put together. Piece of cake. Let me get my tape measure and I'll give you some measurements on this overall. Okay, so. Oh, and it's got these little handles on the side to open that a lot easier, a lot easier access. But it is 23 and a half inches long. And 15 and three quarters of an inch wide. And here, the depth, let me get that the right way. Depth of it is basically six inches deep. And then when you put this top on, so that sits basically 12 inches high. So, again, overall dimension wise, nice size litter box. And uh, I'm going to refrain from actually filling it and showing my cat Esma. Esmeralda, we call her Esma for short, uh, using it for obvious reasons. However, this gives you a really good idea, and uh, I'll, sh I'll show you a picture of what Esma looks like. Anyway, uh, Brian from Garage Hall, thanks for watching, and uh, be safe out there.